Now, maybe you're feeling really sad and lonely about being single on Valentine's Day. Ah, oh, this shirt still smells like him. Or maybe being single on Valentine's Day makes you really angry. I hate all men on Valentine's Day. Or maybe you're just sitting there at home on YouTube watching sexy confidence videos trying to just make sense of your love life. Or maybe in the worst case scenario, it's all the above in that exact order. Regardless, I'm here to tell you that you can be happy and single at any time in your life. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Little J from sexyconfidence.com where I help the 21st century woman create a love life that she absolutely freaking loves. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how does it you can just be happy with your single life. Now I know you're probably thinking to yourself, Adam, aren't you a relationship coach? Don't you help people find love and get into relationships? Yes, so? The reality is that I found the best way to find a great relationship is to actually be happy with your single life. And I've heard this over and over and over again, especially with clients that join the Attract the One Academy, my like like 10 week program that gets people out there finding love. I find at the end of that, a lot of my clients will find that the moment that they become happy with their single life and they enjoy every moment of it is the very moment that they get snatched up, that they meet someone great. And they're almost like, hey, I was actually starting to enjoy my single life. This is ironic that now I found a great relationship and now I'm not gonna be single anymore. But it really is that moment where you finally start just enjoying it is the moment that you start to attract love. So here's a few ways that you can actually enjoy it, whether it is Valentine's Day right now or whether it's just some other time of the year and you're feeling a little bit down about it. Number one is realize that being single can actually be one of the most exciting and fun times of your life. You know how people say that the grass is always greener when it comes to being single versus being in a relationship? Well, here's why I believe that the grass is always greener. When you're single, life is just fun and exciting and you're meeting a ton of new people. You're meeting all these new people that you're probably not gonna be meeting that many people when you are settling down. However, when you're in a relationship, life is much more intimate, there's a lot more emotion, but at the same time, life is just much more secure. Life is much more predictable. Life is much more just normal. That's why I call, it's called settling down. And these two things are very different. And by nature, if you have one, you don't really have the other as much. On one hand, when you're single, you're gonna have like lots of unpredictability, lots of excitement, lots of like crazy stories that you're gonna talk to your girlfriends about, and you're gonna look back on as being like really fun moments, whether they're horrible to experience now or not. Whereas when you're in a relationship, you're gonna find that it there's a lot of security and a lot of happiness and a lot of intimacy and a lot of emotion, a lot of these great things that kind of like warms your heart, but you're not gonna be going out and meeting a new person like every weekend. You're not gonna be going out and having these wild stories. And both are really in their own way, very different and very amazing. And chances are you're here right now because you want that security, you want that relationship, and that's great. And that's of course what I wanted as well when I met Jessica, it's, it's amazing. But don't underestimate how amazing it can be also when you're single and how exciting it can be and how like enlightening that time of your life can be. So enjoy it and, and be grateful for that time in your life because really you're, if all goes well as you follow the sexy confidence way, you're not going to experience it for very long. So appreciate this time in your life and don't forget to just enjoy it. Number two is stop listening to societal expectations about you having to be in a relationship. Now when your divorced mother is telling you that you need to find a husband right now, take it with a grain of salt. It's really hard to hear advice from people in our lives, especially when we're single and everyone wants to kind of chime in on what it is that you should be doing or about your love life. And please comment below, by the way, if you find that people in your life are constantly telling you what you should do with your love life. I'd love to hear what's kind of going on there. But what happens a lot is that people put pressure on you that you need to find a relationship. And in many ways, it implies that there's something wrong with you if you're not in a relationship. But I'm here to tell you that there's nothing wrong with you. You're an amazing person. And yes, you might be single right now, but it's because you're upholding these standards for yourself, these standards for a relationship, and you're willing to wait. You don't wanna be in a relationship and feel lonely later. You'd rather be single now and having fun and enjoying yourself until you find a relationship where you're never lonely, where you have a great partner, a person that you can really spend the rest of your life with. So hold out, enjoy your time right now, and don't let people in your life make you feel bad for being single. 
them. Number three is go out a lot and meet a lot of great people. Now, if you are watching this on or before Valentine's Day, then please remember Valentine's Day is absolutely the best time to go out and meet other single people. Why? Because everyone who's out at a party or out at a bar or wherever on Valentine's Day, everyone there is single. So go out, have fun, enjoy yourself, go out and meet as many people as possible and really don't be afraid to have weird conversations with weird people. Open up your mind to the possibility of who you might end up with. And one thing that is also a very common thread that I found when people are looking for love or finding a great relationship is that the person they end up with doesn't look like, smell like, act like the person they think they're going to end up with. So keep an open mind when it comes to who you talk to and who you meet. Because I'm telling you, it's important if you find that your patterns with love haven't worked for you, the best thing you can do is start meeting different types of people that you normally wouldn't have thought might be a good boyfriend material for you. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And honestly, at the end of the day, I just want you women out there, I need to be kind of the messenger of this, which is, look, I know over the years, I've created hundreds of videos trying to help you get out there, find love, uh, not be single anymore, and find a great relationship. But I'm here to tell you that you can be happy the way you are right now. Don't forget to appreciate every single minute, every single hour of your life, whether you are single, whether you're in a it's complicated relationship, whether you're in a long-term relationship, long-distance relationship, whether you're married, divorced, widowed, whatever it is, please just remember to enjoy your life and be grateful for what you have right now. So thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video I'd love to hear from you in the comments right there below just comment why it is that you can be happy while you're single and also if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube it certainly helps me out a lot and finally if you want more help getting back out there meeting great people whether you do want to be unsingle or you want to stay single and just meet great people make sure you head on over to sexyconfidence.com we'll leave a link right over there uh, and I will talk to you I guess next Sunday thank you so much for watching I'll speak to you next Sunday you sexy single lady Bye-bye.